What's up everybody, it's time for another review. Question is though, did you ever wonder what would happen if you m crossed The Exorcist with Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive? The answer would be 1977's The Car. That's right. I'm talking about James Brolin before the Amityville Horror in a possessed car movie. And what kind of car would the devil drive? A 1971 Lincoln. That's right. And what I loved about this movie was the rural, the small little rural town that the devil decides to unleash his hell upon. It's so small and it's so quaint and so peaceful that you for, you think nothing ever bad could ever happen here. But you would be wrong. And the car itself was a piece of work. It was designed by the late great George Barris who just designed the monster mobile for the monsters. Which is by far one of my favorite alt TV shows ever. Not my most favorite, but one of my favorites. But just the way this movie opens is so good. You get these two yuppie little nobodies riding their 10 speeds down the middle of the st street like they own it. And they decide they're going to race. And then they decide they're going to race again. And that's when the car starts to come creeping up behind them. And it runs both of them off the road head first into a canyon. Yes. I'm that sadistic. When it comes to self-entitled snobs, yeah, I'm, I have new sympathy for them, especially in movies, and even more so in horror movies. If you're going to be an uppity prick in a horror movie, you deserve to die. And these two, they deserve to die. And you also start to see that the devil has a plan. He doesn't just go after your, the sinners in this town, no. He goes after the pure and the innocent. Like the school teacher who is in love with James Brolin's character. The devil runs her over right in her own kitchen with his car. And I'm telling you guys, when you see how badass this 1971 Lincoln is that George Bur Burris is designed, you're going to see why I love this fucking movie so much. If you like the car and Christine... You're going to love the car and the car. It is so iconic. And I know you're going to say, but it's a car and okay, so it's possessed by the devil. What makes this movie so good? What makes this movie so good is one... James Brolin is phenomenal in his role of the sheriff. Two, it's just a fun movie. It's one of those movies you can just sit there and get lost in and enjoy. Is it the greatest movie ever? No, it's not. 
Is it a movie you can sit there and go? Ha 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 ha! I would do the same thing to half the people in this town. Yeah, it is. So, give this movie a chance. I guarantee you, you guys won't be disappointed. For story, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. For cinematography, I'm the cinematography is, for what they were going for, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. And my overall ranking is going to be a 4.5 out of 5. It's not a perfect movie, but it is a movie I can sit there and go back and watch over and over. Just because I like the concept of a car possessed by the devil. And this is Mark. I've seen so long. And until you guys see me on my next review.